Taxes, climate change, and how we handle family leave were all up for discussion in the State House this year. After 90 days of hard work, some new laws were signed today. WMAR 2 News' Don Harrison was with the governor and legislative leaders and has more. Balloons and confetti are released to signify the ending of the 2022 session, a celebration not seen in the State House since 2018. Um, I'm really proud of the work that we did this year. This was a really great year. We worked well with the governor. We worked well across the street with our, with our uh, counterparts in the house. I just think this was a, a really phenomenal year. Thank you uh, for being here today. Governor Hogan with House and Senate leaders signed 79 bills into law just a few hours after a late night finish to the session. An ambitious and costly climate change bill passed that will go into law without Hogan's signature. The governor felt the bill will be too costly for businesses and Marylanders. Reforms were made for how juvenile suspects are interrogated or incarcerated. Uh, I, I would say this has been our most successful session yet. We enacted the largest tax cut package in state history. Hogan was able to get $2 billion in tax cut for Marylanders, a bill that failed the last five years past giving tax cuts to those 65 or older. And is President Ferguson was pleased with the mental health bill. Truly, it is the, the most important impact post-COVID is going to be how this experience has impacted each and every one of us and how we see the world. Bill 365. Rounding out the more impactful bills is a bill that makes ghost guns illegal and another bill that creates an insurance program that employees and workers contribute to for 12 weeks of medical or family leave. Also, you get to weigh in on the legality of recreational marijuana in the fall election as it will be on the ballot. So for now, senators and delegates head back to their home districts for campaigning. Who will be back next year? Nobody knows. What we do know is that whoever is back here for the 2023 session will have a new governor to deal with. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.